hey guys welcome back to my channel and you guys might be wondering why you haven't heard from me in a while let me tell you guys something it has been a very long two week because you know uh i'm in portugal now guys so i'm here in Punta de la Gorda. and yes so for the past two weeks, um, the week of Umberta, I was in Bermuda and the storm came and it knocked the power out very early in the evening and we didn't get back electricity for about maybe five days. So then, you know, I couldn't do any load any video and then i i am here in portugal in um punta de la Gorda, azores island and the internet guys i don't know what happened to my internet but it not working 100 percent. so i have to call those people and have them they're gonna come and look at my internet so yes guys, I am here and I'm having difficulty finding food because you know your girl do not speak Portuguese and most of the food are labeled in such. So if I do not know what it is, I can see it with my naked eyes, I, I'm not going to get it. Um, Yes, yeah, so you know chicken is a universal food. Everybody know of chicken. Everybody eat chicken. I wonder why. So guys, I made some fried chicken this morning. And I have some buffalo sauce over here. Some buffalo sauce. I add my little thing to it. And this is what I'm going to be eating my chicken with. And um, guys, okay, this is just good old fried chicken wing. So I don't think nobody want the recipe for this. I have my ketchup to eat my chicken wing. So guys, <clears throat> do I like it here? I have not settled in as much as yet. So, you know, I'm giving myself some time. I'm giving myself some time. And I'm giving, I don't know, because, to be honest, I don't know what to think yet. The place is nice. It's, the place is okay. Guys, I made my seasoning from from Bermuda. I'm bringing it here because the last time I was here, I couldn't find the seasoning that I wanted to make my food taste as well as I wanted it to. So you know what you're gonna do? We're gonna make that seasoning from home. We're gonna add a little easy spice, a little maggie, a little paprika, some garlic powder, some oxtail season, some adobo, some Old Bay, some pimenta, some crushed pepper, and a little bit of man. I made a bag of seasoning. Mm -hmm. So now, my chicken can taste exactly how I want it to taste. I wanted to french fry these wings, but because I'm not used to how the things are in the store. Every time I go to the store, 
I forget something. Because, you know, what is happening? It's working itself out. I'm working, it's working itself out. Okay, so we're going to talk about the people now. That's true. I think the men are more friendlier than the female. There you go. What the female look like? I'm going to eat them. But the males, they try to be polite. So. Because in my villa, <laughs> in the villa that I'm staying, that my that our host is, guys, I'm the only black person I see in this villa. So people be looking at me like all oh, weird. Oh my god. Mm hmm. And the funny thing is, if somebody made a, a rude comment, I don't understand for shit. If somebody gonna talk shit about me, the honest truth is, I wouldn't understand. So, guys, if I may say so myself, your girl, she can throw down in the kitchen. This chicken, these chicken wings. And I go for expensive restaurant and have chicken wings and I mean it's crap. You know taste no flavor, no seasoning, no nothing. Look. But yeah. <coughs> I'm gonna open a restaurant. If people will support me here, I need to show them my little bit of Jamaica goodness. <laughs> I'm telling you, and guys, I didn't even soak this overnight because. Oh, by the way. I'm five hours ahead of Jamaica. Five hours. So you know that, hmm? When you're going to wake you up, know? I soon time for me to sleep. What time is it now? It's after 12 now. So. About two o'clock in Jamaica now. Mm hmm. Oh, guys, we got my new test glasses. Tell me you don't like my new test glasses. I think they are the bomb. I love them. It makes me look a little bit younger. This baby or the bomb guys I want my chicken I don't want to eat more than six chicken because I don't want to overdo it and the calorie because I have a 1200 calorie intake for the day and I don't want to go above that well just in case I'll just go outside and do some running as I a little bit more running. Mm. If I'm gonna do ten laps, if I usually do ten laps, I'm gonna do fifteen or twenty laps. These chicken wings are worth it. 
If you come from Jamaica, you can't cook. You need some lick. Because you know what? I'm glad I didn't get the flour either because I don't like French fried chicken anyways. I don't even like chicken, but I like wheels. Chicken is not my favorite. But I love me some wings. If it tastes nice. I always um buy KFC hot wings. Always, always. I love anything spicy. Yes, guys. So I am here in Portugal. Um, I'm home alone. So that's that. But going out on the street, I don't know if I'm a hundred percent comfortable as that being as. There's nobody black around me. I wish I see somebody black. But I can say, okay. And feel a little better. But so far, it's okay. I can't complain. I have no reason to complain yet. Well, I don't want to complain either. Because this is what I chose. I'm married to a Portuguese, so. But the difference is, living in Bermuda with my Portuguese husband is 100% different from living in Azores, living in Portugal. Like when I was coming over, there was another black person on the plane along with me. Like there were only two people on the plane that was black. One black lady and her Portuguese husband and me. It feels weird, but what I'm going to do, I'm not going to kill myself for that. I mean, it is what it is. And it is what I chose. And to be honest, I don't have any complaint. I am not sad, I'm not bitter. I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. Different experience, different culture. And guys, the older ladies, they wear the apron in the house all day. They don't take it off, so even if they go for the corner store, they wear the apron. I mean, I think this culture is still um, kind of old. We we'll still follow the custom. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I see people on the street in their, in their little apron thingy. They wear it in the house all day. Especially the older people. Young people don't really do that. Guys, the first time I go for the store, I lost. I lost for about a minute. I'm like, what the hell am I doing right here? 
I never lost, I just missed my way just for a minute. So guys, I just wanna go to the store and search for things that we are customary to in Jamaica, right? Jamaica stuff. It's just gonna take a time for me to and guys the the meat the beef over here they are organics grass fed one hundred percent the butter the cheese they made their own cheese they made their own wine and the cheese everything from the cow organic there you see when it's winter time and the grass not growing they already have corn that they plant just for the cows They don't take it to any place and process it and make it into a bag feeding. Go give to the cow, the grind it, the corn, and give to the cow. Because this place produce is a lot of milk and so so. Definitely, I think I'm gonna be finding some stuff that is in Jamaica. Here, but it's just gonna take a time, a little bit of time. So, guys, it's time for me to teach you some Portuguese. So, I'm gonna tell you guys good morning in Portuguese. I'm gonna say, Boom, ya. Boom dia. Okay? I'm going to tell you good afternoon. In English, in Portuguese, I'm going to say botar. I'm going to tell you good night in English. In Portuguese, I'm going to say go night. Way night. Yeah, way night. And I'm going to tell you bye for now. Ciao. Taminia, meaning see you tomorrow. Yes. See you tomorrow, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Live, love, and laugh. Help somebody. One person, one single person. A smile, a good morning, a good afternoon, and good night. You may never know what you're doing to a person. So please remember to share love. Pass it on. Somebody help you. And you're okay now? Help somebody else. Remember to pass it on. Okay? Sometimes most of the help you get are not from family. So yes, you're going to help family. But there must be one fifth, one little girl, one little boy. Can't afford to go to school. Maybe just, just need a day lunch money. Something. Something. Help somebody. Please. Please. There's so much people in this world who need... Listen to me. The reason that I talk about it so much... When I get to Bermuda, if I didn't have somebody to help me, I wouldn't be sitting here today. It might not be a big help, but there was somebody to say, here you go, this is for you. Then when I get to, when I, when I get to Bermuda, my bed that I sleep on, somebody gave to me. I didn't even know where I was going to get a bed didn't even know I was gonna get a bed. Somebody give me a bed. Somebody give me a microwave. Somebody give me electric kettle. Somebody give me table chair. 
guys and I was always a kind person but the thing is I think my mother is also a kind person and the favors that she did in life fall on my shoulders because I get to get to Bermuda I know nobody no one but God sent some angel God sent somebody there was somebody to help me and for that I'm very grateful and of course I pass it on I help I never buy a sheet curtain anything I have a lady who just go away buy things and give to me I mean I'm so grateful that there is still good people in this world and all I'm saying somebody did you a favor no matter how small pass it on help somebody you may never know it come back to your child because the seed you you sow now your children are gonna reap the seed your grandparents or your great great somebody in your family reaping that right now so what we need to do is sow good seed so good see that our children can reap the benefit so help somebody no matter how small help somebody be nice smile oh my god stop the killing stop the shooting stop the unnecessary drama stop the bad mind i mean it's not necessary be happy your day ever come it might take longer but when your when your day come hmm it come indeed your your day is gonna come you know no matter what your day is gonna come right so there if somebody achieves something before you happy for them happy for them don't kill them don't chastise them don't wonder where them own a care before you don't wonder where them own a house before you no wonder why somebody get married before you no wonder why they have a child and you can't get a child because God knows everything best when your time come, your time come. And when you look into it, you're going to say, my God, you can imagine if they have a child long time, how I would manage to take care. No, you can. God knows everything best. Everything. Just wait. Do not bad mind. Wait. Happy for people. Trust me. It work. Okay. So guys, enjoy your day, enjoy your morning, or sleep well if it's in the night, okay? And just live, love, and laugh.